it's time for a frog room tour. Before filming this, I was going to clean up some of the tanks and trim the plants, but then I didn't, so what you see is how it looks pretty much every day. I'll start with the big tank. It's about 2 feet wide, 2 feet deep, and 3 feet tall, and the background is made of compressed cork panels with sphagnum moss jammed into it. I only put the background on two sides because I think it gives a pretty cool view when you first walk into the room. I tried to make the main structure look like a big tree by combining a bunch of cork tubes together. I kept the inside of the structure hollow so the frogs can go completely inside it and behind it. My favorite plant in here is this cyclanth. It's been really slow to get going, but it's finally putting out a new leaf. I've had it set up for about 10 months, and I think some of the plants are looking good, but it's still not really what I want yet. These ferns and mosses have finally started establishing themselves on the lower part of the tree, so hopefully in a few months it'll be looking really good. This tank currently houses two different species of frogs. The first is my group of glass frogs. During the day, they sleep on the bottoms of the leaves, usually in groups. Their skin allows light to almost completely pass through it, which makes it harder for predators to find them when they're sleeping. Once the lights go out, they're extremely active. Trying to take a video of them eating has got to be one of the most annoying things I've ever done. You'll watch them stare at a fly for 10 minutes, not doing anything, just to grab it the second you turn the camera off. And of course, I have to include a glass frog on the glass. And sharing this tank with them are my newest frogs, a group of Amarega pepperi. I've had them together for about five months now and haven't had any problems at all. These guys stick to the bottom and are only awake during the day and then the glass frogs are up at night and they stick to the top half. It also works out really well because the glass frogs won't eat any flies that are down on the bottom. A lot were being left uneaten and escaping, but now with these guys, I have a lot less flies in my room. I've found that they're pretty bold frogs, except for when I take the camera out. I only have three of them right now, but I think it'd be really cool to do a larger setup with them in the future. Moving on to the first rack, on the top are two Exoterra tanks, and on the bottom are two tanks that I built myself. So here's the first one up top. The background is cork panels with the sphagnum moss, just like all my other tanks. And then I have a log that I made out of a couple pieces of cork and then some other hides built out of the cork panels. Most of the plants in here are generally doing pretty well, but a few of them are getting completely trampled by the frogs. In here, I have a group of three black narrowmouth frogs that I got from Wakiri about two years ago. I haven't seen anyone posting anything about these guys online. I'm sure there are other people that have them, but as far as I can tell, they're pretty uncommon. They're mostly nocturnal, but I'll also see them out during the day pretty often. For their general care, I would say it's really similar to most dart frogs. I like the way they walk around and also the weird looks they make. It makes them seem like they have a lot more personality than any of the other frogs that I have.
they kind of remind me of dogs in the way that when they know that they're about to get fed, all three will come up and wait directly in front of the door. The next tank up top on the rack is currently empty. I was going to use it for one of my other frogs, but it ended up not working so well, so now I don't really know what to do with it. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I'll quickly jump over to the other rack now, because there's really not much to see here. Two of the bins are just plants, and then the one on the top right has my Adelopus. I've tried keeping her in a couple different vivarium setups, but she's really not an active hunter and struggles to get food. Anytime I move her back into the bin, she instantly starts doing better. I'm planning to turn the top row of this rack into some custom top opening display tanks so that she gets the benefits of being in the bin, but I can still see her. I actually got her in a pair from Wakiri about a year ago. For the first month that I had them, I kept them together in a display viv, but the male would try to breed her and he wouldn't eat when he was doing this, so to stop him from starving himself to death, I separated them into bins. This worked well for about six months, and then one day the male was just dead. I'm not sure what happened, he was eating normally and behaving normally up until that point. Uh, I haven't had any other frogs die before or since. I really like a lot of the Adelopus, but I think if I do anything more with them in the future, it'll be female only displays. Now moving back to the other rack, this is another tank I have that's just empty right now with a bunch of random plants in it. It's got some cool looking moss, and I like what some of the plants are doing, but I think it needs some hardscape and some kind of direction for it to really look good. I'm also not sure what kind of species I should add to it. Before I go to my frogs in the last tank, I wanted to just show off the lights that I got. For light shields, I'm using foam panels that I painted black and then I attached magnets to the back of them so they just stick right onto the metal rack. I'm using aquarium lights because you can program sunrise and sunset on them really easily and I think it's way better than just flash banging your frogs every morning. I also have parchment paper on the top of the tanks because I found it really ugly when you're looking in the tank if you look up and see the lights and the fans and all that kind of stuff. So I found this is a good way to block it while still letting the light come through. All right, now we're on to the last tank. The plants in this one really need a trim, but I just haven't done that. The frogs in here are some Epipetobates anthonii. I know they're really basic and common in the hobby, but I still think they're great frogs. They're always out and active and just generally entertaining to watch. Okay, that's all. <laughs>